Hi dear students, welcome to brilliant online classes. Last class we have discussed different vegetative parts of the plant. Okay, today we are going to discuss one of the important part of the plant that is the reproductive part of a plant. What does that mean by reproductive part? The part which take part in, a, in the reproduction of a plant. So, which will be the uh, reproductive part of the plant? So, that is what we are going to see. You must have seen one of the most, you know, important or attractive part of the plant. That is the flower. You must have seen, you must have seen there are different uh, attractive part of the plant. And that is, you can see, you must have seen the hibiscus flower. So attractive, right? Look at that. Maybe jasmine flower or uh, can be like you know rose flower there are variety of flowers and even maybe the lotus so there are variety of flowers and these flowers having a particular role that is what is called that is what is called reproduction you know they are playing very very important role in the reproduction now we are going to you know before we discuss their role we are going to discuss what is the different parts of a flower okay so before we discuss about the you know flower let us see what is flower and what are the different parts of a flower okay so flower is the reproductive reproductive part of a plant that is the most important thing flower is the reproductive part that means which help for reproduction let us see what are the parts of a uh, flower. First part is the calyx. Second one is the corolla. You can see the third part which is the stamen. And the fourth one is the pistil. So these are the part what we are going to study now. Okay. So now let us see what are the, what are the important parts and what all things. Now you can see here. In this, these are the two different parts which calyx and corolla they are not taking part in a you know in the reproduction now this is the calyx you can see this is the calyx which you can see the green colored part you know this is the uh, calyx which is actually green in color so they can do photosynthesis they can do photosynthesis and corolla that is the most attractive part of the most attractive part of the flower okay now one of the important thing these two parts they are not taking part in the in the reproduction directly they are not involved in the reproduction so what we discuss actually these two different parts you know these two parts which are not involved in the reproduction of a plant so these two parts we call non essential parts what we call non essential parts of a flower non essential parts of a flower so that simply means what there will be some essential parts right there will be some essential part which is involved in the reproduction so let us see which all are those parts okay that is the that is the stamen which is the male reproductive structure and the pistil which is the female reproductive structure okay so we will be discussing detail about these two you know essential parts why it is called essential because they are very essential for the reproduction of a plant okay. so we are going to start with discussing the male reproductive part one of the essential parts of a flower okay so let us see what is stamen stamen is the male reproductive part of a flower you should know which is the male reproductive part of a flower okay and that is one of the essential part. now let us see what is stamen you can see here look at here look at here this is the structure of a this is the structure of a stamen so uh, you may feel such a little complex okay let us see what are the two different parts it has the two parts the uh, stamen each stamen has there are two different parts what are those parts 
one is called anther uh, which is this one you can see this one and the second one is filament filament is the structure okay so now you can see the uh, exactly you know the stamen i mean the anther and the filament so we can say that our male reproductive structure stamen has two different parts okay now we are going to discuss first about the anther okay each anther has two lobes you know as you can see in the diagram there are two lobes in this there are two lobes so each anther consists of there are two lobes now now both the uh, anther you can see this is an anther even this is an anther both the anther together which is connected by a special tissue called connective what is a special tissue where the two anthers are connected that means this is one anther and this is the second anther both the anther together they are connected by a special tissue called connective so this is the connective tissue this is the connective tissue means the uh, it is the just connection of both the anther that means this part this is the connective okay now now when we discuss the about each lobe let us see what is the what about the lobe each lobe is again divided into two chambers look at here each uh, you can see in the diagram now here this is one of the lobe you can see this is one of the lobe this lobe again divided into two chambers even the second lobe this one it is divided into two lobes so that means each lobe again divided into two chambers like this just like this you know there are two lobes these are the two lobes here and in this lobe itself divided into two even this lobe is divided into two chambers these chambers are called pollen sac these chambers are called pollen sac so you can see in each anther there will be four pollen sac there will be four pollen sac here you can see one pollen sac two three four there are four pollen sac in the each anther okay now here what we need to discuss next one here you can see number of pollen grains are present in each pollen sac we have discussed you know the chambers what is that chambers are called pollen sac now look at here there are number of pollen grains are there inside there are number of pollen grains are there inside the you know uh, anther inside the anther or inside each uh, chamber or our pollen sac there are many powder like small uh, you know particles which is called as pollen grain which is called as pollen grain so number of pollen grains are present inside the each anther okay got it clear now next thing we are going to discuss here the last part the second part of that which is the filament what is actually the filament filament is the filament is the stalk of the anther it is the stalk of the anther this is the anther this is the anther so actually filament is the stalk of the anther this is the stalk of the anther that is what is called filament that is what is called filament so this is the first essential part of that so that means what will be the next essential part of a flower let us see now what is the carpel as we know carpel is the female reproductive part carpel is the female reproductive part of a flower and it has there are three different parts you can see here there are three different parts look at here what is that which all are the three different parts stigma a style and ovary so all these together we call carpel look at see look at this this is the ovary this is the style and the upper terminal part is the stigma so let us see each part what is the stigma stigma is the upper terminal part of a carpel that means this part this is what is called as stigma upper terminal part of a uh, flower okay and the second part we are talking about that is the style the style is the you know it is a tubular structure it is the 
tubular structure which connect the stigma with ovary you can see this is the ovary okay this is the stigma so it's a tube which connect both the part that means which connect the uh, ovary and stigma okay which is the third part of the carpal that is ovary that is the basal swollen part little you know thicker part this one this is what is called ovary this is what is called ovary so ovary is the basal swollen part of a uh, carpal okay so we are going to see now what is there in the ovary so look at here this is the enlarged portion or this is the ovary right so let us see now what is the enlarged portion of the ovary what are the things which is present inside the ovary let us see here inside the ovary you can see there are number of small chambers like structure which is called ovule which is called ovule so it can be you know in the ovary it can be sometimes one ovule sometimes it can be many ovules so ovule number can change okay now look at that where the ovules are attached you can see the ovules are attached in a ovary on a special tissue look at here look at here on this tissue on this tissue the ovules are attached on this tissue the ovules are attached and what is that tissue is called that special type of tissue on which the ovules are attached which is called placenta placenta is the tissue on which the ovules are attached now let us see what is present inside each ovule each ovule what is the structure which is present one of the important thing the female gamete egg the female gamete egg is present inside the ovule now look at here this is the enlarged portion of one ovule this is the enlarged portion of one ovule inside you can see the female gamete egg female gamete egg is present inside the ovule inside the ovule so dear students today we have discussed uh, different parts of flower especially the uh, essential parts of a flower and non essential part also we have discussed the calyx corolla which is the non essential part and the stamen carpal which is the essential parts so thank you thanks a lot